Hi, my name is Jenny Bordy. I trade currency. And so I've been getting this question over and over. How do you make sure that you have a Bitcoin in your account in order for you to transfer it to your broker? So I'm going to show you first how to buy a Bitcoin using Cash App. You can find Cash App by going to your Play Store or also going into the App Store. It's very simple. Once you open up your Cash App, you want to go to the second to the last uh, symbol that says that symbol. You see that symbol that is highlighted? It's the symbol with a, with, a, with a circle and also with a square. When you come to this screen, you may run into this screen or you may run into a, a screen that tells you to verify who you are. For verification sake, I've already created another video. So please make sure to go look at how to verify Cash App. And verification just basically mean Cash App wants to make sure that you are the owner of the, cap, of the, of the app before you make a transaction. To buy a Bitcoin, all you have to do is click the buy button. Cash App is going to ask you how much money you need. For the sake of the people that are doing or following this tutorial, for the sake of funding your HFX or your Forex accounts, what you're going to need is roughly at the recording of this video, $530. So you're going to put in your amount in here for the, for the sake of illustration, I'm only going to be putting $1. I'm going to leave it at standard one-time order. I'm going to click my next button. This is where Cash App is going to ask you to verify that you really want to buy the coin. All you have to do is confirm, and that's going to bring money into your account. Now, what do you do next? How do you fund your account? If you are watching this video and you're trying to fund HFX, uh, I'm going to just choose one of the uh, accounts that I have. I'm going to choose one of the brokers that I have for the sake of HFX, and you can see how I fund. Let's assume that I have Bitcoin. So let's assume I have Bitcoin in my account, which is I do have a uh, $4.52. But in your case, if you're trying to uh, find your HFX account at the recording of this video, you should have around 540, 530 to 540. Now, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go into my broker. So I'm going to look for my broker. And honestly, I'm just going to go right up. So if you have IQcent or BidForex or whoever your broker is, the process is the same. You're going to go log in. And once you log in, you're going to find this screen. Now, what do you do? What we're trying to do here is move the money that we funded and on Cash App into our broker. The broker is the area where you're going to be making the trades you know, you're going to be, you're going to be trading. So all you have to do is click the three lines and you see there is a section there that says funds. And in this case, what you want to do is you want to fund. All you have to do is just scroll all the way down very slowly and put the amount of money that you're trying to fund. In this example, we're just going to say it's $540. The reason why we're saying 540 or 530 is because um, Cash App is going to charge you a fee for making that transaction. It only makes sense, right? And then what you do is you have a choice of taking a bonus or not. Bonus just basically means you, you, the, the broker is giving you additional, uh, additional money. Make sure to look at the bonus and understand that in this case, that during this recording of this video, the broker is going to ask you to do transactions worth three times the amount of money you're putting in. So let's say, for example, after the fees have been taken out, you are at $500. If the broker gives you an additional $100 or $250, your account is going to be at $750. So you have to take trades, both winning and losing, to, um, to add up to $750. Let me repeat that actually three times the amount of money that you have in there. Let me repeat that. When you take a bonus, the broker is going to require you to take trades worth, for example, $750 three times. So when you win a trade, it goes towards your bank of 750 
times three, right? If you, if you lose, it also goes into your bank. So let's just make this very simple. If after you took the bonus, you are at $1,000, the broker is going to require you to take trades what $3,000 just slowly by slowly before you can withdraw from the account. So please make sure you read the, the, the bonus requirements before you take the, 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 the bonus, okay? In this case, for the sake of this illustration, all I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to choose the Bitcoin option because I have Bitcoin sitting on my cash up and say fund the account. IQ sent in this, in, in this um, example is gonna give me all this mumbo jumbo, right? Basically it's just giving you what we call a wallet ID. A wallet ID is just an identification, kind of like you'd have an, an account number for your bank. Now, all you have to do here is copy the address. Copy the address. As you see, it says address co uh, copy to clipboard. And go back to your Cash App. And now in Cash App, you are trying to send this transaction. You're trying to send the money that is sitting in, coin, in, in, uh, in Cash App. So you're going to use this symbol here that says send. So you have buy, sell, and send. The little envelope is just a send symbol. All you have to do is just click on it. You're going to put in your money, 35340 for this example. This is just an example. And in this case, I'm just going to do an example. And I'm going to say, I want to send this money to this wallet ID. And it's going to ask you to click next. It's going to tell you to an external uh, transaction. Once you click next, what's going to happen is once you come back here, this little circle that is saying waiting is going to say pending. If you see it not changing to green right away as received, just know it takes five to 60 minutes. So I really hope this process makes it a little bit easier for you. And um, let me know or let the person that introduced you uh, to this whole academy, if you're part of our team, uh, if you have any additional question. One other thing I want to do for you is quickly show you what if Cash App does not work? How can you do the same transaction? How can you fund IQ Cent using Coinbase? If you have Coinbase, Coinbase is just an equivalent of Cash App. All you have to do once again is buy the Bitcoin. To buy the Bitcoin, you're going to go to the bottom of the screen where there's two arrows facing the opposite direction, and you're going to click on it. Once you click on it, you're just trying, you're just trying to buy the Bitcoin. And as you can see, there's a Bitcoin up there. So for the sake of those people watching this video for the, for, to fund their um, high frequency exchange account, please use 530 to 540. You're gonna do a one-time purchase. You're gonna, this, it's gonna ask you to preview your buy. And once you have that money, all you have to do is now send that money to your vendor or your broker. How do you send that money? You're gonna go back again to the bottom of the screen and click send. So let's just assume you've put in your money. You're going to click continue. And once again, you're just going to put the wallet ID that we got from the other place. And you can go ahead and click next. It's going to ask you to preview your, your, um, your transaction. Just make sure it's enough money, 540 to 530 to 540. And then you are done. So I really hope this makes a lot of sense. Please triple watch this video before you reach out to the person that has, um, um, that has referred you to this video. Triple watch it because you wanna just make sure that you are you know, saving a little bit of time for everyone because every, all the information is here. Of course, if you're lost, make sure to reach out the person to the person that referred you to this video. Otherwise, God bless you and we'll